वॉट एवर हैज हैपन्ड इज हैपनिंग एंड विल बी हैपनिंग इन द फ्यूचर एंड द वेरी फैक्ट दैट यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो राइट नाउ इज ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग लेट मी एक्सप्लेन आई हैव ब्रोकन दिस वीडियो डाउन इन टू फोर सिंपल स्टेप्स फर्स्ट वन वॉट इज मशीन लर्निंग इज इट वर्थ ट्रूइंग इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर हाउ टू मास्टर द स्किल एंड वॉट पेड एंड फ्री कोर्सेज ऑफर मशीन लर्निंग ऑनलाइन लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉट इज मशीन लर्निंग लेट मी एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू विद एन एग्जाम्पल Here as you can see we have got a car company and this car company wants to write a machine learning model that will predict whether the new customers will purchase the car or not and it is very simple to do so the company created a customer database which is a comma separated value file and it has all the relevant information like salary gender income and much more and it fed all of that into a machine learning model that it created Now the model is basically taking that data and guessing what kind of people like to buy a car and what kind of people don't. And then when you put in the relevant information of any new customer, the machine learning model can actually predict if the person will buy the car or not. Now this is a very simple, very basic example of machine learning and it can do much much more stuff. For example, you clicked on this video right now. The YouTube algorithm is also like a machine learning model. It tends to take all the relevant information of you and then suggest you the best content according to your choice. And then for me as a creator, the YouTube algorithm checks what kind of customers or what kind of people actually watch my videos and then it shows my videos to those people who are actually likely to watch it. All social media platforms use machine learning to actually suggest their people what kind of content they like and what kind of content they will be watching in the future. So now let's cover is it worth doing in 2024. In one word but let me explain it to you in detail in four simple steps first one is the increasing demand and with that increasing job opportunities now as we know that machine learning is a really great tool that all small startups and even big tech giants require on a daily basis then we have got advancement in technology now the big algorithms that we were able to write with machine learning but were not able to implement because of computational power and as we know 2024 there is a lot of advancement in technology and what all we can accomplish right so same goes with machine learning with higher computational power you can run more difficult algorithms that can solve bigger problems then we have got the applications of machine learning it can be applied to every single walk of life whether it be transportation healthcare business social life literally anything so as there are a lot of increasing opportunities again i am stressing on this point there is a lot of increasing demand now the last point is social impact now you can accomplish a lot with machine learning and you can figure out the world's biggest problems with machine learning and the only reason we are not able to do so right now is because we lack the computational power the more the data the better results the machine learning model will give and right now we are lacking that right but machine learning has in it the potential to solve the biggest problems in the world for example global warming so it has a huge social impact and you can change the world with it now let's come on to the third step which is how to master machine learning so i'll be breaking this step down into six small points the first one is solidify your fundamentals this can be divided into two parts programming and mathematics Now for machine learning no doubt you need a lot of mathematical edge you need linear algebra you need statistics probability and calculus right so these concepts in math should be very strong because the entire concept of machine learning is based upon probability calculus and linear algebra right so you have to have a very strong command on these topics second we have programming you can choose a programming language and then you can stick to it and then you have to master the fundamentals of the language let's say you are sticking to r or you are sticking to python anything will work actually but you have to stick to one programming language and you have to learn it with your heart and soul you have to learn every single concept then only you will be able to master the command on machine learning the second point is the basics of machine learning now you can read blogs there are a ton of online resources available there are also some books in amazon that i'll be linking in the description down below so if you want to buy it you can buy it from there but you have to have a good command on all machine learning basic concept you have to have a basic command on regressions and preprocessing and all the machine learning stuff that is actually required in your field right 
so everything in machine learning should be in the palm of a fist the basics right then you can move on to build bigger models then we have got deep learning now deep learning is also a very important part of machine learning so after you learn machine learning you should have a basic idea of what deep learning is it is basically the study of how you can build artificial neural networks and cnns rnns and much more so if you want a video on that just comment down below and then we have practice practice and practice so all machine learning requires is practice right so if you are if you have a good command on all the points that i have just covered you have to just practice making machine learning models on your own building one for some bigger tech giants and then only you will be a master in machine learning it requires a lot of practice because you will be handling a lot of data sets so the more data sets you handle the more programs you write the better you will have a command on it the fifth point is to stay updated with the machine learning community now there are a ton of research papers that you can read and there are a ton of journals that you can read on upcoming machine learning things and upcoming stuff so after you are through with every point that i've just told you can go on and contribute to the community you can think of new things that can improve the field of machine learning and you can even read the discoveries of other people these are the websites that hold the research papers on machine learning that you can just go give them a read whenever you are free the last point is to build a portfolio now it is very important to showcase what you have learned right so you have to participate in reddit posts you have to uh, source everything that you have discovering on github and you know make youtube videos or something like that you can also post a blog so document everything that you are finding so that you can reach a bigger audience and you can even improve your machine learning skills and that can help you get a job afterwards now let's move on to some online courses both paid and free that you can use to learn this skill first we'll be covering the free courses so the first one and on the top of the list is IBM's machine learning course on edX now there is uh, an option where you can upgrade to the premium version and you can get a certificate for it but if you just want to learn machine learning it is a great resource then we have on edx there is a google ml crash course that you can do on if you just want a basic knowledge of machine learning and only the fundamentals or you want to revise your concepts or you want to build them right so this is the best resource for that then let's move on to the paid courses now these courses cover in depth of machine learning and if you are going on machine learning i would recommend that you purchase one of these whichever one is comfortable with you that will help you in the long run as well the first one is on udemy there is a to z course on machine learning uh, by the super data science community it is a very great co course and that is actually where i started my machine learning journey i recommend it to everybody and it is a great resource then as i told you deep learning is also required in machine learning a bit of deep learning good understanding is great and again by the super data science community they have also created a great course on deep learning as well same on udemy then uh, you can go on coursera there is a course by stanford university that is named deep learning for everybody and it is in collaboration with open ai it is actually the best course on the internet for machine learning but if you are a bit low on what you want to spend on it you can use the udemy courses as well because the coursera course is a bit price last but not least we have the mit open courseware now this is a course by the mit x community the mit online community and you can find it on coursera i link all of these down in the description so if you want to check them out you can do it from there so if you like this video be sure to smash that like button down there and if you are into machine learning cyber security and all cool tech stuff just subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a video and i'll catch you guys next time